Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia. If you are new, welcome. It has been a long time since I made a video. It's been over a month, maybe almost two months. A lot has been going on in my life. My husband ended up getting a injury at work. He had second and third degree burns. We were really busy getting him to doctor's appointments and all of that. I wanted to come back to YouTube with a makeup tutorial first. It's actually not really a makeup tutorial. It's more of like a get ready with me. I did get a PR package it's actually my first ever full PR package um, and I got it from CoverGirl it's a really really cool box it has a video that plays with it so shout out to CoverGirl thank you so much for sending me the collection and thank you to you guys for watching my videos you watching my videos gives me the opportunity to do those types of things and it's it's awesome so I am going to share my honest opinions about some of the products what I like what I don't like what works for me what doesn't work for me so I'm gonna show you guys also what I've been using in my routine lately especially my foundation routine to make it last all day long especially in the hotter months. This is a full like face glam, so it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for those who want a natural everyday look. And my eyes are pretty basic just because I tend to be pretty basic with my eyes. So I've missed you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to watch me once again. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you join this little family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload a new video. As always, all the products that I am using will be listed down below with links to where you can find them if you're interested. And I think that's it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So lately I have been loving layering my primers. I find that I get the best use out of all of them when I layer them together. I know it sounds a bit excessive, but I have not found a primer that does everything that I want it to, like mattify, fill in my pores, fill in my fine lines. So I use different primers that all do what I want it to do, and it's been working beautifully for me. Now this next step I implemented after watching Jackie Ina, and it's setting your primer in place with a translucent powder. This has helped tremendously with keeping my face matte longer and keeping foundation from seeping into my laugh lines. And for a foundation, I'm using one of my old favorites. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I didn't show it because I barely had any left. I'm actually gonna go repurchase it because after using it this day, I fell back in love with it. It's super full coverage and lasts all day long. I'm pairing it with the All Nighter Concealer, which I love as well. This is super full coverage, but it is very matte, so I like to mix it in with a creamier concealer. And I really like this one from Estee Lauder, although it's not as full coverage as I would like it to be. So I like using it with the Urban Decay. Then I'm using this Sonia Kashuk Body Blender, which has been my jam lately. I love this body blender. It's only $10 at Target, and it blends things out so quickly, but it keeps it nice and full coverage. It doesn't soak up a lot of product. And as you can see, it's just, it's super fast. I mean, of course I did do some jump cuts, but it blends out things very, very quickly. I'm then going to set underneath my eyes with the Airspun Translucent Powder. I don't really like this powder for underneath my eyes. It's just too ghostly for me. Um, I really love the Laura Mercier, but I had ran out of it and I barely had anything in there. So I just had to settle with this one, but Laura Mercier is still my go-to. Then I'm gonna set my foundation in place with my Sephora Matte Perfection Powder. It is my favorite powder ever. It just makes everything look super smooth. It smooths over any texture and just makes my skin look nice and flawless. Dipping into that CoverGirl collection, I'm gonna use their Microfine and Define Brow Pencil. And this is a pretty basic brow pencil, but I like it, it works really well. I actually ran out of my Benefit Precisely My Brow when I received this uh, package. So I've been using this and it's a, of course a great cheaper alternative. And I've really been liking the Brow Sculpt Pomade. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I normally don't like pomades, but I gave it a try and I have literally been using it every time I do my brows. And I like to use it to create those defined uh, brow strokes, those brow hair strokes at the beginning of my brow and just kind of add dimension throughout the rest of my brow. To start bronzing up my skin, I'm actually using that same Sephora collection powder just in a darker shade. And it is just like one shade darker than my skin tone, so I like to start off with that first. Then I'm using this pressed powder from Black Radiance, and I believe it's in the shade Black Coffee. And then I'm adding that to further add dimension to my cheekbones. So I like to start off with a lighter kind of bronzy color and then deepen it up 
um, just like you would do on your eyes. So starting with like a transition shade and then going a little bit darker. And then for blush, I'm using those two middle shades from the Saharan Blush Palette. I've really been liking these on my cheeks. Um, for my nose contour, I dipped into the Jaclyn Hill Palette, I forgot to show it, and I'm using the shade Pukey for my nose contour. So for my eyes, I'm taking that light brown shade and also the dark brown shade and just blending those into my crease. These type of color schemes is what I normally use on a everyday basis just to add definition to my crease. As far as the palette itself goes, I don't really care for it. There's a lot of fallout, a lot of kickback, um, and it's just kind of messy and it's not that pigmented. As you can see, I'm really having to build the colors up to barely get anything, um, you know, any type of dimension on my eye. I do really like this CoverGirl Get In Line Liquid Liner. I've been using it every time I do my makeup. It's super easy to use. It's a nice black. It is a matte black. It doesn't dry shiny. Uh, so it's, it gets an A from me. I am throwing on some lashes and I'm using the Cake Face Beauty Lashes in the style Queen. Then I'm just popping on some mascara on my lower lash. And um, yeah, let's move on from that moment. Then I'm going to throw on a little bit more blush because I wanted it just to be a little bit more intense. For a highlight, I'm taking my Broken and Busted Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm just highlighting the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and also my cheekbones. For my lips, I'm finally lining them with something other than Pitch from ColourPop. This lip liner is from MAC. It's in the shade Chestnut. And I'm going to be using Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. I'll have the shades listed down below. And I'm going to top those with one of the Katy Perry lip glosses. And I'll leave that shade down below because I can't remember off the top of my head what shade it was. I am really loving this Look Lock Up setting spray. I notice a major difference in my face when I don't use this. I find that it just makes my makeup look extra good when I do use it. And my makeup, I don't know, it just lasts longer, it looks nicer, my lines don't appear as quickly, like my laugh lines. Um, so I've really been loving this and I like to press it into my skin after I spray it. And then I just wanted to re-intensify my highlight while my face was still a little bit damp. So if you can't tell already, my go-to look is basically just flawless sculpted skin with big lashes and a nude lip. Alright guys, so this is a finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.